everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is my most recent Rose Girls Mario Melter pre-order. And yes, I know that it's a little late because the orders were received last week and most of you have your videos up already. But as some of you know, I did have surgery a week ago and I had foot surgery and um, I wasn't able to really get around and walk and then Thanksgiving happened and you know, I'm just getting to it now. So, um, if you purchase some of these scents in the sale, the, the Small Business Saturday sale, hopefully this will give you a little taste of, you know, what you can expect or hopefully you, what you can expect when you receive your order. So I do have my tripod on my desk and I hope that it doesn't get knocked over because I have it situated a little differently. Um, I can't sit on the ground right now. I, I can only really hobble around on my foot because uh, I do have my, my best friend, my boot on. Um, that's another, <laughs> it's another video, um, but I want to get started on the wax here. This is not just Rose Girls. This is, I actually bought some scoopables from Jenny's mom, Kathy, from her company, Scoopable Tart Wax. Uh, Kathy had a sale a couple of weeks ago. I think it was her anniversary sale or something like that. And I decided to take the plunge and grab some scoopables and I got a little ice cream scoop of wax here, but I'll do those last. I just, I hope this doesn't, let me just open that up a little bit more. There we go. A little bit more <laughs> secure. Okay. So most of you know, Rose Girls owned by Jenny Oaks and she is from, where is Rose Girls? Um, oh man. It's slipping me right now. Is it on her business card? I don't know. Anyways, if I see a little out of it, you know, if, if you've ever had anything with your foot, if you've ever had to wear a walking boot 24 hours a day, sleep is not something I know what it, I don't know what that is right now. I'm not sleeping very much. I'm, I, when I go downstairs for the day, I don't come back up really just because it's too much wear and tear on my foot. I'm allowed to walk on my foot as tolerated, but I do have a large bandage in my foot. So it's hard for me to go down and get my coffee and come back up and do all that stuff. So, um, I'm a little sleepy, so just forgive me. I'm so sorry, but I wanted to get my videos done today. I have some other hauls to do too. So, um, <clears throat> business card comes with all of the orders and most of these I have had before, but there are some blends in here that were either new blends or ones I, you know, looked at last year but didn't purchase. And I will say this is my second year with the Mario pre-order. Last year, of course, 2021 being the year that I found Vendor Wax. So um, let's get started. First one, Fire Mario. Fire Mario. M Mario, yeah. <laughs> Fire Mario. This is a fantastic coffee blend. If you love coffee, you have to try this and add this in your arsenal. It's amazing. The notes are marshmallow fireside, donut holes, and espresso beans. And I can smell this through the bag. It's fantastic. And the I, I'm pretty sure this blend was new last year. And Jenny had said that the espresso oil that she uses in this is different from some of the other espresso oils that she uses. And this is something special. Mixed with that little bit of bakery from the donut hole and a little bit of that marshmallow fireside to give that pop of smokiness. This is perfect. I love this. I have another bag in my collection, but I had to get another one. I love this. I'm going to, because I try to be organized, I am putting everything down in a box. So if you see me bend over, that's what I'm doing. You can see my lovely book rack behind me. Uh, this is just a small snippet. I have books all over this joint, as does my husband. This is my office, and it's our library. Excuse me, our library also. So, ooh, excuse me. Hot Mess Express, real life. So, <laughs> next, Warp Zone. I freaking love this love this i have this is my fourth bag i think i will never be without this this is perfect bakery peppermint this is i just can't say anything good any any more good about this i love the color scheme i love the gray and the pink love it these notes are monster cookie fluff puffs peppermint and vanilla crunch donuts 
Now, what makes this so special is the balance of oh, the balance of the monster cookie fluff puffs, that little bit of vanilla donut, but it's got the perfect the perfect amount of peppermint. It's not too sweet peppermint. It's not essential oil peppermint. It's not straight peppermint. It's creamy, sweet peppermint mixed with that bakery aspect. I love this. Love this. Fantastic. That's one of my favorite Mario Melter blends. Next is Donkey Kong Destruction. This is new to me. Um, this reminds me of Moo Moo Track, but I think Moo Moo Track has that addition of the strawberry, whereas this does not. These notes are banana cream pie, bear claws, and vanilla ice cream. I mean, they, Moo Moo Track has, has um, banana cream pie in it and a couple of other things in it. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty similar to my nose because I do have Moo Moo Track here in my house. And this one, this is nice. I'm, it's basically banana cream pie heavy, very banana heavy. I get, hi Poppy, Poppy's in here because I have the door open, so <laughs> if, <laughs> she comes running. That's what's happening. So Donkey Kong Destruction. This is basically banana cream pie, banana heavy, like I said. Um, I get a little bit, a little touch of the bear claws, but not much. Just a little touch of it. So uh, this is a nice one. I will get this melting in the spring probably because I have all my Christmas and pine and peppermint wax ready to go for the season. Uh, next is, oh man. I just noticed this bag has a little has a little tear in it. I'll have to double bag this one here. Um, when my box came, I did have one bag that was completely ripped to shreds, and I had to um, rebag it. But I just am making sure I happen to catch this in the light. Um, this is Bodacious Bowser. Okay, I love Warp Zone. It has its own set of qualities. Bodacious Bowser is probably, probably my favorite, probably my favorite, number one, bar none, favorite Mario Melter blend, Bodacious Bowser. Dunk My Donut, Monster Cookie, Waffle Cone, and Green Apple. The combination of Waffle Cone, the buttery creaminess of the Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. It's not Fluff Puffs, it's just Monster Cookie, sorry. It could be the Dunk My Donut because I do have Dunk My Donut in Kathy's Wax. I got this for a blender and I get a little bit of that cinnamon. Dunk My Donut is sweet, buttery, glazed cinnamon donuts. And this one, of course, is Dunk My Donut mixed with Monster Cookie, mixed with Waffle Cone with a little bit of green apple. Don't be afraid of the green apple. This is a, this is a fantastic, this is a fantastic blend. I love Waffle Cone. Waffle Cone makes everything better. It's buttery, it's creamy, it's bakery. And I just can't say anything more good about this. Like, I think I said that before too. But this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is fantastic. So if you pick that up, I hope you like it. Next is another repeat purchase. This is Koopa Claus is Coming to Town. This is a classic. I think everybody has tried this one for the most part. Oh, is that good? This is Royal Sugar Cookies, Gilligan's Brew, which is um, coconut milk and I think cream or marshmallow smoothie. Poppy, get down. And zucchini bread. So this is a fantastic one. It's pretty much, it's zucchini bread heavy, but it has the creaminess of the sugar cookie and it has the creaminess of the uh, Gilligan's Brew. So this one is a very good one. I have another bag of this in my collection. I know, sweetheart. Come here. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say hi. That's my baby. Say hi. <laughs> hi, sweetheart. You want to be good and go down? Good girl. Okay. Okay. Next is an, another new one to me. This is Star of Wonder, Star of Night. And I don't really know why I did not buy this last year because this is this is these are right up my alley this is serendipity and marsh uh, excuse me strawberry euphoria and i think strawberry euphoria i couldn't quite find the notes of what makes that up but it's fantastic strong strawberry and 
oh, it's just, it's fresh strawberry, it's juicy, it's a little creamy, and you have the serendipity, which of course is the coconut, the cherry, and the vanilla. I think everybody has serendipity. Um, some people don't like serendipity because of the cherry aspect, which it's okay. Cherry in this aspect, in this blend, I mean, the strawberry is dominant, and it's just a nice, creamy, strong strong blend i really really like this one it's 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 pretty good i'm i'm happy i grabbed a bag this year to have because can't be can't have enough strawberry okay next is jam and jelly this was one where the bag was pretty shredded so i had to put it into another bag here jam and jelly this is new to me this is strawberry jam raspberry sauce blueberry cobbler blackberry jam butter cookies and peeps cake so basically this is a bunch of jam bunch of fruit bunch of fantasticness this is really really good i'm definitely i can't really tell where the blackberry starts where the raspberry starts or the strawberry starts they're all just a nice strong berry i love berry stuff and then of course you have a little baby hint of bakery from the blackberry jam butter cookies and a little bit of bakery from the peeps cake not too much peeps cake to me doesn't really have much of a scent but other people can pick up on it and and it's you know noticeable to them just not to my nose but this one i wanted to try because i do love i do love jelly i do love berry my husband loves berry too so that's a great one okay next is another repurchase of mine this is koopa claus needs a latte so Koopa Claus is espresso, baked zucchini bread, royal sugar cookies, and Gilligan's Brew. So it's basically, Koopa Claus is coming to town with coffee, espresso. So this espresso is different than the espresso that's in Fire Mario. But this is, to me, this is a, this is a very heavy this is a nice coffee bakery scent. I'm getting definitely the espresso heavy. It's espresso just jumps right out you. I, I love coffee though. And you get a little bit, <coughs> excuse me. You get a little bit of the bake, um, <clears throat> the zucchini bread also with this. And it's fantastic. If you haven't had this one, hopefully you can give it a try if she pours it, you know, throughout the year next year. Or, you know, get it in a de-stash if it's de-stashed or, um, you know, hopefully you got it because this is a really good coffee bakery blend. Okay, <clears throat> next, this is a new one to me. And I think this is a new one period this year. This is Snow Kingdom. Snow Kingdom is candy canes, cool peppermint, vanilla bean noel, vanilla ice cream, and musk. So pretty much pretty pepperminty, which is okay because I, this is the season. I like this one a lot. What really sticks out to me, I'm going to take one of these out here, is the combination of the candy cane and the cool peppermint. This is like a peppermint that I haven't quite had before. And I don't know if it's because there is a little bit of musk in here. Um, the vanilla bean oil and the vanilla ice cream really are just blenders, um, you know, to, to give a little bit of creaminess to it. But I really like the balance that Jenny did of the candy cane and the cool peppermint because it's not just, you know, they, have, they yes, they're both peppermint, but they have a little bit of a difference. You can tell what's candy cane. You can tell what's peppermint. This is not as creamy as like a North Pole scent where it's definitely sweet peppermint and vanilla. It's not like that to me. This will be a nice refreshing. This could even be a nice uh, nighttime blend or when you're stuffed up or you have a cold or allergies or something. This would be nice too, just to give that little bit of refreshing coolness to the air. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. This one might even go into my um, winter tote, to tell you the truth. Okay, next is, this is a repurchase too. Everybody loves this one. This is Swamps. This is pine, peppermint, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow. This one's hard to describe because it's it's definitely it's pine, but it's cool pine. It's refreshing pine. It's not pine salt. It's not bathroom pine. It's not 
the little trees, air fresheners, and the car pine. It's not like that. It. I don't really get so much of the marshmallow. I get a little bit, a little baby hint of the bakery from the sugar cookie. But it's mostly cool pine. That pine mixes very well with the peppermint. This is a refreshing, nice, different blend that I haven't smelled from any other vendor out there. So this one is a really nice one. And I think, you know, I I, I looked at the sale on Saturday. This one... Uh, Sold out, of course. You know, Thwomps always goes. It's popular. It, everybody loves it for a reason because it's, it's you know, pretty much it's universal. Men and women alike both, you know, like it. And it can be used just about any time of year, in, in honesty, in my opinion. Okay. I got another bag. I got two bags of Audacious Bowser. I lied. I didn't realize I did, but I did. <laughs> now I have many. I love Audacious Bowser. Okay. Um, these next ones, let's see. This is a new one this year. This is rocking around the question block. And this is pear, streuselkuchen, almond biscotti. I love her almond biscotti oil. It's one of the best out there. It's fantastic. Um, toffee butterscotch pretzels and vanilla bean ice cream. So pear was a very interesting note because pear is, pear is so good. But pear, I don't see used very often in, in, in wax. And maybe because people just honestly forget about it. But pear gives that little extra juiciness that isn't an apple. It's not a strawberry. It's not a watermelon even. It's not a blueberry. It's not, I mean, it's not a berry. It's, it has its, a, a pear is so good. I mean, there's nothing like eating a pear. It, it is just, oh, now I, I want pears. <laughs> so <laughs> this one I'm getting a beautiful combination of a, that, that creaminess from the pear and the juiciness from the pear mixed with that Strusselkuchen. If you've had Strusselkuchen before, I have a bag of it plain. It's basically just a cinnamon bakery, a sweet cinnamon, creamy, glazy bakery treat. And it's a nice, it's great blending. It's great on its own. Like I said, I have a bag of it alone. But this, I can't really smell the almond biscotti right now. But when it when that oil's warmed up, it just, it's so comforting. It's so cozy. It's delicious, in my opinion. And the toffee butterscotch pretzels is a big component of Cookie Land. But this does not have the cookies and the uh, confetti cake that Cookie Land has. So that was just that. And I'm not really getting too much pretzel per se. This is this is a very nice one. This could be used all year. It's not just a Christmas blend. Of course, this is a nice one. I I'm really happy with how that one came out. Next, Autumn Mountain. This was new last year, I think. This is new to me. This is Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Two of my almost absolute have to have all the time favorite staple oils are cider lane and pumpkin pecan waffles and yes they're fall but i love them all year and i could melt them all year they're so good and this one here i grabbed because i thought you know it's always good to have another cider lane ppw blend so i went for it this one is a great mixture of cider lane with the dunk my donut the Dunk My Donut, of course, is that buttery cinnamon donut. And that little bit of extra takes that caramel apple, like the, the strength, the strong caramel apple that uh, Cider, Lane, Cider Lane's all about. It tones that down a little bit, and it's smoother fragrance, in my opinion. And the pumpkin pecan waffles, I'm not really getting too much heavy of the bakery or the pecan, the syrup, all that stuff. This is basically... Cider Lane with a little bit of extra cinnamon. I like this one. Okay, next, this is a repeat purchase. This is Dr. Mario. I love Dr. Mario. When I had the flu a month ago, when I got home from my trip, I put Dr. Mario in after a couple of days. And you know, when when you're when I'm when I'm sick, I don't feel like getting up and changing my wax and doing all that stuff. But I will say next to my bed where I spent a lot of time, I did have Dr. Mario going because I was stuffed up a good bit. 
And this, it really does remind me of Vicks. You know, the Vicks Vapo Rub, you know, if you put it in a humidifier, you rub it under your nose, whatever you want to do with it. It does remind me of that, but it has the lavender and the chamomile in it to take that super medicinal and crank it down a little bit. That's my opinion. That's my interpretation of this one. Um, it's not too overpowering. It's not too strong because it does have a little bit of, a little bit of musk in there. And I do get the lavender and the chamomile. And I mean, yes, you do get camphor. Yes, you do get eucalyptus. And yes, you do get mint. I mean, it is it is that type of blend. But the addition of the lavender, chamomile, and musk changes this from, oh my goodness, you're putting your nose in a bottle of Vicks to a little bit more soothing and comforting fragrance. Dr. Mario is great. Very, very good. Next, this one is a repeat purchase of mine. This is Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. And this one is Eggnog, Royal Sugar Cookie, Monster Cookie, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Donut Holes. So, I had a loaf of this. I've used it all. I've had a loaf of this, and it's fantastic. I didn't buy this last year. I really like this blend because on warm, when you warm it up, the cookie land, which is the toffee butter scotch pretzels, the confetti cake, and the cookies. That, um, it's funny because she doesn't have the cookie land notes on here. Hmm. But there's cookie land in this. <laughs> so, um, on warm... The eggnog, the spiciness, you know, the nutmeg from the eggnog and a little bit of creaminess comes alive really, really strongly in this on warm. And what I like about this is the balance of the, the sugar cookie, the monster cookie, and the donut holes to give that beautiful bakery aspect to it without being, oh my goodness, this is just another cake or cookie blend. That's how I describe this one. And it's not, it, the eggnog is, don't be scared of the eggnog, it's very creamy. It's not too spicy because you got a lot of other stuff in there to tone that spice down. So that's this one. I like that one a lot. Last one for Jenny is Lake Kingdom. I think this is new this year too. This is Salty Sea Air, Blackberry, Peppermint, and Rain. I got a couple fresh ones because I do love Jenny's fresh blends. They, they, are, they are fantastic. So this one... Her rain oil is just spectacular. I really like her rain oil. And I this isn't quite, this is not, this is going to be a strong one. But it's not as strong right out of the gate as Speechless, per se. That's Satsuma and Coastal Kale and Rain. I think that's what Speechless is. Um, but I do, I do get, you get the salty sear, but it, the little bit of the saltiness is toned down by the addition of the peppermint. And by the rain. The rain just makes it a more rel relaxing, soothing, fresh, nice scent. This could be used in a bathroom. This could be used anywhere. I mean, it's 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 not just strictly a bathroom scent. But it does have that refreshing, clean um, scent that a lot of people just want in their bathrooms. I put anything in my bathroom. I melt bakery in there. I do anything. It's it's just, you know, that's just me. But this one, I, I don't get too much of the blackberry right now. But... It could come out on warm. I hope it does because blackberry is a nice addition because it's it's very it's very um, versatile that it can be taken to perfume, it can be taken to fresh, it can be taken to bakery, and it's it's just very versatile oil. Okay, next is my sample. This is Palo Santo Donut Holes, and this one is pretty simple. I saw someone post in the group about this. I basically get Palo Santo with just a little teeny itty bitty touch of donut hole. So that's all of my Rose Girls. And now I'm going to do the small order of the scoopable tart wax by her mom, Kathy. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I decided to take the plunge and order a small order here. So 
for her anniversary, I think, you know, she retired and then decided after retirement to come back and do wax with her and her husband, Tim. And um, the anniversary sale, everybody got a free um, tart cookie in each order. So mine is Circus Concession, which I love. It's fantastic. But I just, I want to draw attention to the detail of the chunks here. And the size of this is, I mean, it's, it's like the size of my palm. It's a very nice size. This is Cotton Candy Frosting, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Macintosh Madness, and Funnel Cake. You know, and, and even though not all of Kathy's oils are the same as Jenny's, I mean, you know, it, Jenny took over her business, a lot of them they do share. So I know that the circus, circus concession that I have from Rose Girls, this is pretty much the same. I think it is the same. So this is very nice. I am happy I got this one because you can never have enough circus concession. So... This is a great balance of the funnel cake, the caramel, the marshmallow, not marshmallow, the caramel, the funnel cake, the uh, Macintosh Madness, and the cotton candy. This is a great balance of that. Okay, I got one ice cream scoop wax melt of Coffee Bean Espresso. It's a nice, it's an ice cream scoop, scoop here, ridges and everything in here, very detailed. Coffee Bean Espresso. Express. This is coffee bean, marshmallow, and monster cookie. Now, I love coffee, like I've said several times in this video. This is one of the most scrumptious coffee scents I've smelled. This is the balance of the cookie that mar that I love her monster cookie. I I love that oil. It's so good. Mixed with the coffee bean, it's done so perfectly. You can't tell where one starts and one ends. It is so it it is so yummy. I just I want to chop this up and use this because oh that that is so good. This is like coffee ice cream. Oh, it's fantastic. Coffee ice cream. That's another thing I want. <laughs> coffee ice cream and <laughs> a pear. Okay. I got a good variety here, mostly bakery, of course, but I'll start off with my only non-bakery one, which is Country Blessings. Now, this one is old lady, maybe to some of you, but this is smells just like a country kitchen store filled with awesome potpourri. I love, I love the old traditional potpourri, cinnamon, simmering on the stove, type of grandma-ish sense. I just, it, it's nostalgic for me. And I grabbed this one because I think I've seen Jenny Rose Girls offer something similar to this, but I didn't get it. But when I saw this, I thought now's my chance to try this one. And it's nice to, you know, have this going when I'm not in the mood for bakery. I don't want fresh. I don't want coffee. I don't know what the hell I want to melt. So I'll put this in when I can't make up my mind. At least it's something that's scenting the air and putting a little bit of um, hominess into my place. So I got Country Blessings. Next is Christmas Morning. This is Eggnog, Dunk My Donut, and Cinnamon Bun. So this one is, this is very balanced. I can't really tell. I mean, it has, it has equal, equal... I get cinnamon bun, I get dunk my donut, I get eggnog. And the cinnamon is probably a little heavier in here than just the plain... Where'd my dunk my donut go? Oh, that would have been what Poppy knocked off the counter. Anyways, I talked about dunk my donut. <laughs> I don't have to talk that, about that one. But the cinnamon bun does bump this up a little bit more to... Uh, have a little bit more heavier cinnamon than just the straight dunk my donut but then you have the eggnog which has the nutmeg in it which isn't too overpowering this one is a nice bakery cinnamon scent you have to like sweet cinnamon to like this one okay next is Nilla strawberry noel this is strawberry jam vanilla wafers and vanilla bean noel and I got this one because I know this is a popular blend I've seen it offered a lot, you know, Jenny has it too, and I never grabbed it, and I don't think I've really had anything, 
It, I might have had it mixed in another blend, but I honestly don't remember. I definitely never had it solo. So that's why I got this one. Hi, Annie. This one is... I'm not getting... The strawberry jam is there, but honestly, this is more vanilla wafer and vanilla bean noel heavy to me. The strawberry jam usually comes alive a little bit more on warm, but I love strawberry scents, so I had to give this one a try. This one is a creamy deliciousness. It's, it's, it's good. Next is pistachio. I love pistachio. If you watch me, you know I love pistachio. This is a blend of pistachios, honey, almond, and a hint of vanilla custard. This is so good. This is strong, strong. Jenny Rose Girls has this one too. This is, oh, this is not a cherry pistachio. Although a lot of people do get cherry from pistachio, not all the oils have cherry mixed in there. Almond is such a strong oil. I think our brains get confused with smelling pistachio because we're smelling almond. We're smelling amaretto. But amaretto and cherry and amaretto and almond, am cherry amaretto, all that stuff is used so much together because they're so similar that our brain can't differentiate between them. However, I've smelled so much amaretto and so much almond in my life, my brain can tell if this is a cherry pistachio or an almond pistachio. This is an almond pistachio. It's so good. Strong. I love amaretto. I love almond. I always will have it. But you need just a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. This I got mainly for blending and for those days when I really just want pistachio. Like, I, I love pistachio. Next is blueberry pumpkin pecan waffles. This is blueberries blended with pumpkin pecan waffles and cream. This, what can I say about this one? This, this is such a great blueberry blend. It's strong, juicy. It's like eating a blueberry ego waffle. I know it's a bad example, but you can smell the blueberry or even blueberry pancakes. We'll use that as a better example. Blueberry pancakes, when they just, you know, when they're, when they're on the griddle, they're exploding, they're juicy. You get that scent, that unmistakable, distinct scent of the blueberry. This is that I'm pumpkin pecan waffle is there, but blueberry goes so well with it because blueberry and waffles and blueberry and batter and etc. go so well together. I get a little hint, hint of the cream, not too much, but this one, I'm excited for this one. I love blueberry and my husband loves blueberry. This is a really good one. Great one. And finally, raspberry pecan crunch donuts. Scrumptious raspberries poured over a warm buttered pecan crust and frosted with vanilla crunch donuts. This is so good. I will say raspberry can pull perfumey in a lot of blends. Um, this has, to my nose, this has just a hint of raspberry perfumey to it. Um, but the, the butter pecan crust and the vanilla crunch donuts in here really do bring this to be a great, comforting, yummy bakery blend. So that being said, this is probably my, this is probably my favorite of all of these. I love them all, but this is probably my favorite because I love pecan and it was so genius to put the raspberries with buttered pecans in bakery because a, they just play so well together and it does take that perfuminess out of the raspberry, but I can still smell just a hint of it, like I said. So uh, that's my haul from Rose Girls and Scoopable Tart Wax. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys like your um, Small Business Saturday Mario Melters and other things that she had available. And I will see you soon.